In a response, Senior Superintendent Chambers says part of the challenge the police have is finding persons to give statements against suspects when they are picked up by the police. SSP Chambers says without persons coming forward, there is not much the police can do to bring about arrests, which could lead to convictions. He says the council and other stakeholders can start by trying to get witnesses to come forward to help the judicial process. To a primetime news update, the head of the police in Clarendon has shed more light on the extent of the crime situation, which recently sparked a triple and single murder in, the three, in a three-day period in the community of New Bowens. And even as Superintendent Vendelin Cameron Powell further explains, the decision to ban entertainment events and close some businesses early, she says the police will be reviewing the move in the wake of an outcry from residents. TVJ's Krista Campbell has his primetime news update. And I can tell you that. We are aware of all the persons who have committed these murders. And the head of the Clarendon Police, Superintendent Wendelin Cameron Powell, says to get those criminals, the police need to cut down on the movement of residents. She explained that the early lockdown of corner shops, bars and other businesses, as well as the freeze on events like parties and dances, is a temporary move to address the rising murders and other violent incidents in New Bowens and other parts of the parish. She pointed to the recent murders, stressing the scenes of these crimes. Superintendent Cameron Powell says on the weekend the police will be reviewing the ban on events in New Bowens in light of the outcry from residents. We have not put any church under any radar to cut back on their night activities. What we are asking, are they in a position to help move the persons after convention and crusades, you know, by bus and so, because when we have so much of them on the streets walking, some of them relatives are involved, mm -hmm. and the relatives gone, and the, and the innocent ones are left. And in the wake of last week's triple murder and a single murder in New Bowens within a three-day span. We're also moving persons now to save their lives that are part of this conflict. Accused of being goat thieves, accused of transporting the goats, accused of buying. Substantial business persons are also involved. I can tell you that. It's a big business, gold stealing is big business. And we have been talking about it long time when we realized that some farmers were held up at gunpoint and their animals stolen. Two persons since year shot during the process of stealing their goods. Some of these cases were not ever reported to us. When I look in the diary, especially at A's, I've seen only six cases being reported. We're also hearing that persons overseas who are upset assist the process of paying to get these persons killed. Krista Campbell, TVJ News.